Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Thank you for breaking free from NPD with Lizzie. Uh, I'm so excited that you were able to join me. Uh, if you're a new subscriber, thank you. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, my name is Evangelist Lizzie Harrison. Uh, I am not a doctor. I'm not a psychiatrist. I'm just sharing some content with you that I pray that resonates with you. Um, and I was a victim of domestic violence. And so I decided to turn my pain into power. And so I want to be able to help others. Uh, maybe you're going through a transition. Maybe you're going through uh, a situation uh, of domestic violence or with a narcissist. But uh, my content that I'm sharing is based on a female or male narcissist. And so if you are already a subscriber, welcome back. Again, thank you for joining me. Uh, please hit the like, uh, uh, like the videos. Please uh, hit the bell icon to receive any of my upcoming videos. Please share my videos. If there's any particular topic that you would like for me to talk about or share, please leave it in the comments down below and I'll be happy to do a video on it. And so tonight our video is going to be about, did the narcissist ever loved me? A lot of people have this question and they want to know, with, you know, with the relationship that we had and uh, the, the uh, intimate relationship that I had with the narcissist or, or if the narcissist was your mom or your dad or uh, a child or a sibling or a co-worker. But in this instance, in this video, we're going to be talking about an intimate partner. So did the narcissist ever love you? And so I'm sorry to tell you, no, the narcissist never loved you. The narcissist never um, really cared about you. The narcissist never uh, really thought of you as a person. Uh, the narcissist basically just used you for whatever he or she needed from you in order for them to get the narcissistic, narcissistic supply uh, that they needed. And so I know it's it's very hard to try to wrap it around your mind and say, well, how can someone uh, be in an intimate relationship with me? How can we be together for so many years or so many months or so many days? Or this person told me that they love me. He or she told me that they love me. And we have children together, or we've been dating, or we're married, or we've been in a relationship, and this person just basically just took off and left without no closure, without uh, any explanation for anything. That's what the narcissist does. So the narcissist never really loved you. They only really cared about themselves and what they can gain and get from you. And so maybe whatever you uh, you had, or may, maybe something that, you know, um, money, it could be money, it could be fame. It could be uh, attention. You might know a lot of people. And a lot of times the narcissist would just use you in order to get what they can get out of you. And even though you have children with them, even though you could be married to them, dating them or whatever, it doesn't matter. The narcissist basically only cares about themselves and they they lack empathy. Uh, they lack compassion. Um, the narcissist basically, uh, it's just like, we call them an energy vampire. You saw in one of my videos that I recorded, uh, a month or two ago, please go back into my videos and you'll see it. It talks about a narcissist being an energy vampire and the narcissist don't know how to love. They don't have empathy. They don't have uh, compassion and, uh, they basically feed off of other people. They feed off your energy. They feed off whatever they can get from you. And so the relationship was never really based on love. It was never really based on compassion. It was never really based on uh, loving you as a person or trying to meet your needs. So if you're in a relationship with the narcissist and you notice that every time you all was together, it was never about you. The focus was never about you. It was always about what you can do for the narcissist or what the narcissist can actually get from you. They were always feeding off of you. You were always doing all the giving and they would never give. They would, narcissists are basically just takers. They take, 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 take. They never have anything to give. They always have negative energy while you're giving positive energy. Uh, they always like to keep up a lot of um, drama when you're trying to keep the peace. Uh, the narcissist is always coming up with excuses to, uh, leave the home or to uh, uh, cut the relationship short. They'll tell you they need more time uh, or they need to think about some things. And sometimes the narcissist just make up uh, stories to say that the relationship is not going well so he or she can go out and be with their new supply or to be out cheating or be with someone else uh, just to get away from you. But the whole time, the narcissist is always planning something uh, behind the scenes. The narcissist never really had you in mind. They never thought about you uh, as a person. 
And even though they told you that they love you, even though they looked into your eyes when they were intimate with you and told you how much they love you and they'll never leave you and you're the only one for them and you're their soulmate, it's all a lie. And I know it's the most hurtful thing to accept, but the narcissists only think about themselves. The narcissists are like empty shells. They are basically like, um, um, I would say they were just, they hollow. They have nothing inside. There's no love. There's no compassion. Uh, there's nothing there to give you. They have nothing to give you. Narcissists, again, are takers. They just take. They have nothing to give you. They mirror you. They only give you what uh, they see that you want. So if you portray a certain way that you want things done or how you want to be treated, the narcissist is going to mirror you and actually uh, play back what you're giving them. And so you're thinking, oh, I found my soulmate. Oh, this person really loves me. But no, they're only mirroring you. They're only showing you uh, what you want to see. And so they will play their part. They will wear that mask. Uh, they will cover themselves up. They will pretend uh, the whole time. So you're thinking they love you. They're coming in and out. They're playing the husband, the wife, the girlfriend, the boyfriend, or your intimate partner. Uh, they'll be, they can be just intimate with you. They can uh, just uh, have taken you out to dinner and to lunch. And you can have this wonderful family time. They can wake up the next day and basically just take off and walk off and leave as though you never existed. And you want to know how can a person actually do that? Well, they never loved you. No one can be with you for all that time and to love you. And all of a sudden just wake up one day and decide they want to be with somebody else. They just want to walk out on a relationship. They never loved you. There's no way a person can actually really love you without feeling painful and sorrowful. And that's why when the narcissists leave, you notice that he or she, uh, they're not sad. They're not disappointed. They're not hurt because it was all planned. They never really loved you. There was really nothing there. They never really built a relationship uh, with you. They never really cared about what your needs were. They never cared about what you wanted and what the relationship meant to you because it never was a relationship. We call it situationships or we call it transactions or we call it uh, entanglements or whatever you want to call it. But the narcissist never really loved you. Why? Because the narcissist can't love. They don't even love themselves. They hate themselves. They are, they have low self-esteem. Uh, they um, pretend they, they have this false self where they pretend that everything on the outside is fine. Everything is perfect. But on the inside, they hate themselves. They're dying and they're jealous of you. They're envious of you. And that's why they so controlling and so dominating. And when you don't give them that narcissistic supply, if you don't give them what they want, if you don't praise them and worship them and you don't bow down to them and they can't control you, they will eventually leave you. That's why it's so easy for the narcissist to take off and leave because they never had an attachment to you. It was nothing never there. It was all about what they can get from you. And once they have drained you, and once they have gotten everything from you that they want, then they will leave you and move on to the next person. And then you'll be looking saying, man, I was married to this person or I was dating this person. How could they just up and leave the relationship and just go be with someone else as though we never existed, as though we never was together? And they are very good at trying to ignore you. They're very good at the silent treatment. They're, they, they use the silent treatment to try to control you and to hurt you because they want you to beg for them back. They want you to... Uh, say, oh, I need you. Oh, I can't live without you. But that is not true. Please do not do that. Once a narcissist decides they want to leave, let them go. Let them be with whoever they want to be with because the grass is not greener on the other side. And they will soon find that out. And so, you know, it's like I said, again, it's very hurtful to even think about someone doing that to you. And you have built a life with this person. Like I said, you brought children into the world, even if you don't have children with the narcissist. Uh, a lot of times, you know, we don't understand what type of relationship, what we call a relationship, but it's not a situationship or a soul tie. So what you have to do is pray and ask God to help you break that soul tie, to help you break that um, that uh, feeling of, of, of love towards this individual because the person never really loved you. And so what they'll do is they'll go out with their new supply and they'll throw that new supply in your face. They'll try to make you jealous. They'll try to make you envious. They'll also try to triangulate you with the new supply. And so that's going to make the new supply work harder uh, to give the, give the narcissist 
the supply that they need. So they'll tell the new supplier that you're begging for them, you want to be with them, you're calling them, and they're doing this and they're paying your bills, but none of this stuff is really happening. And so the new supplier is going to believe everything a narcissist says. They're going to think that you're crazy. They're going to think that you're really after them, but no one's after the narcissist. Nobody wants the narcissist back. But that's what the narcissist is going to tell the new supplier. So the new supply can work harder at keeping a relationship with them because they think that the relationship is being threatened by the ex. But at the same time, the narcissist never, ever loved you. The narcissist don't even love the new supply. The narcissist is using the new supply for whatever he or she can get from them. They're getting sex. They're getting intimacy. Uh, their meals are being cooked. I mean, they enjoy watching another person slave after them. They enjoy watching that they have another woman or another man under control, under their wings, and they have manipulated them. They have triangulated them. They have tricked them. They have love bombed them so much. Well, this person actually really thinks that the narcissist really loves them and actually in love with them, but the narcissist doesn't love them. The narcissist is mirroring them. The narcissist is giving them, mirroring back to them what they're expecting out of a relationship. So the new supply will soon find out that the relationship with the narcissist is a fraud. It's a fake. And so we realize too, as, uh, as, as YouTubers, as we're putting out these videos that narcissists now are starting to watch our videos and they're learning the tactics that they, we know that they know that we are aware of. That's why we're sharing these things with you, uh, for healing and to growth and to help you move on. So you can be aware of the tactics of the narcissist. They are paying attention to these videos and they are watching in these videos. And so they're changing the ways that they are responding um, to the new supply. So it doesn't look like that they're using them, but they're using you. They're using you. The narcissist can never love you because they don't love themselves and they don't know what love is. The narcissist don't have a relationship with God because God is love. And so if a person truly, really loved their spouse, truly, really loved you as a person or truly, really love the relationship, there is no way that another person will walk out on their family, walk out on uh, their spouse is walking on a relationship, uh, whether he or she walked out, there is no reason for that. And there's nothing healthy in that. So a person can never tell you that they love you to death do you part. They can never say that they love you and be engaged to you. They can never say they love you and have children with you and plan on marrying you or plan on having a long-term relationship with you and wake up one day and just walk off into the sunset with a total different person. And so jumping from one relationship to another, that is not healthy. We call those rebound relationships. So how can a person love someone else that quickly and jump out of a relationship? And so you have to remember that you have to protect yourself. You have to protect your heart, your energy, and your surroundings. And I want to apologize to each one of you all on the behalf of the narcissist, including myself for how I have been treated. But to let you know that the narcissist never loved you. The narcissist doesn't know how to love. You have to learn to love yourself. You have to learn from this relationship or this situation or this entanglement um, that, you know, it opens up your eyes to help you to focus on, you know, what you missed and the red flags and the different things that you didn't pay attention to. So this relationship or situation again, that you went through is a, is an open door for you. It's an eye opener for healing. It's an eye opener. So share your testimony with other people. Tell them what you've been through. Please leave some comments down below. If you have went through a situation with a narcissist and you, they walked out on you and you realized that they never loved you and they moved on with another person, please leave uh, some comments down below if you went through that type of relationship or you going through that type of relationship. And again, you can also reach me at warriorqueen.55 at yahoo.com. I also do counseling. I'm a professional certified life coach. If you have any questions or you'd like to contact me, again, reach me at warriorqueen.55 at yahoo.com. And please look at my other videos that I posted on YouTube uh, on my channel. Maybe some of the information resonates with you. Maybe it doesn't. And even if you agree with the videos uh, that I have, I thank you. And if you don't agree, I thank you as well because we are able to agree to disagree. So again, I'm just sharing uh, some things that I went through and some of my experiences and other experiences that other people have went through. So thank you again for tuning in to my YouTube channel, Breaking Free from MPD with Lizzie. Please uh, stick around and uh, check out my any of my upcoming videos. Please remember to hit that bell icon to receive any of my upcoming videos. But other than that, you stay safe. Uh, you stay healthy. Again, guard your heart. 
understand that love starts with you loving yourself and know that God loves you. And even if the narcissist doesn't love you, that's okay because the narcissist doesn't make up for who you are as a person. So thank you again for tuning in to Breaking Free from NPD with Lizzie. You all have a blessed day or evening, wherever you are in a part of the world. God bless you.